so guys you're welcome again to another video right in this particular channel well we have a fascinating topic to dive into i mean it's actually one of those topics that is both timely and critical for the future of south africa but before we get started don't forget to subscribe to our channel and kindly hit the bell notification button so you never miss out on our latest videos well today we are talking about some significant developments in south african politics well helen zile who happens to be the federal council chairperson of the democratic alliance has shared her thoughts on the current political environment in South Africa. While well, she has some strong opinions on the recent political moves by former President Jacob Zuma and of course the rise of the new political party which happens to be the MK party. Well, Helen is very concerned about these trends. She believes that the return of Jacob Zuma to the political scene and of course the rapid rise in popularity of the MK party are not good signs for South Africa. Hmm, this is getting quite interesting. Well, according to Zile, many South Africans are focusing more on identity politics than on good governance. She thinks this focus is not helping the country move forward. So let's break this down. Well, recently, Jacob Zuma, who was the president of South Africa from 2009 to 2018, has made a comeback in the political arena. Despite his controversial past, including allegations of corruption and other legal battles, Jacob Zuma has managed to gain a lot of support from certain groups of people. This time around, Jacob Zuma has teamed up with the new newly formed MK party. This party has quickly gained attention and support from many people. The MK party is named after the military wing of the ANC called the Omkumtos Wisui, which means Spear of the Nation. This wing played a crucial role in the fight against apartheid in South Africa, while the MK party is made up of former members of this military wing. They have used the history and nostalgia of the liberation struggle to appeal to voters. Many people in South Africa still feel a strong connection to this part of their history and to the people who were involved in it, of course, like Jacob Zuma. While Helen Zille is worried that this kind of appeal to identity and nostalgia is taking priority over more important issues like governance and accountability. She believes that when voters focus more on identity than on choosing leaders who can govern effectively, it can harm the country's progress. In her view, South Africa needs leaders who are committed to the rule of law, transparency and effective management. However, not everyone agrees with this lady. Some critics argue that identity politics is a natural part of South Africa's diverse society. They say that Understanding and acknowledging the country's history and the identities of its people is important. While these critics believe that identity and historical narratives significantly influence political choices and voter behavior, Zile acknowledges that understanding history is important, but she insists that it should not come at the expense of good governance. For her and the Democratic Alliance, the focus should be on ensuring that the government works well, provides essential services and drives development. While the DA has always positioned itself as a party that values good governance, transparency and service delivery. Helen Zeller's comments reflect the party's broader strategy to stand out from other parties that, in her view, use identity politics to win votes. Well, as South Africa prepares for its next general election, the issues Zile has raised will likely be central to political debates. The challenge for the Democratic Alliance and other parties that share its views will be to persuade voters that effective, that effective governance and accountability are what the country needs most. While Helen Zile's remarks highlights a crucial discussion in South African politics. 
The rise of the MK party and Jacob Zuma's return have sparked a renewed debate about the role of identity in politics. While for Helen Zele and the Democratic Alliance, the main focus should be on good governance, but it remains to be seen whether this message will resonate with voters as the political landscape continues to change. Well, tell us in the comment section, which do you think is more important, identity politics or good governance? I mean, which political leader would you rather go in for? Would you go in with for someone who has a good reputation? someone who has a good identity in the eyes of people or someone who is actually ready to deliver for the people someone who is ready to have good governance work hand in glove with the population what well, if your thoughts in the comment section and that's all for today's video we hope you found this discussion insightful and of course thought provoking if you did make sure to give us a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and please hit the bell notification button so you can be the first to get notified when next we drop a new clip and of course until next video drops again stay tuned and stay glued